and here we are with a new uh, limited time series hurricane r3 spec championship so i've uh, got five days remaining uh, let's jump in and get this rolling this is the first card to be won uh, with this new update the hot hatches up hot hatches update there we go um, Let's see, the usual um, rule applies to these uh, particular type of series, the championship series. Uh, push the hurricane b beyond what was previously thought possible. Okay. Alright, so here's the breakdown of the reward structure. 25% increments. Um, with the last one, of course, giving out the most amount of gold and, of course, the car itself. Um, and 890 gold if you want to complete it right away. Uh, I don't think car itself is worth that much, but uh, I suppose as you make your progress, if you either run out of time or uh, find the particular gold too much, then I suppose you can go with the... Uh, paying your way, I guess. Alright, so there should be 22 tiers, and there sure are. And from what I've heard, uh, this one's going to work very similar to like all the other championship series that we've done recently. Meaning, uh, because it is championship series, the limited time series, it uh, requires the, the cup races. Starting from the second tier on, it's going to require a certain amount of upgrades the PR and I believe uh, for this car if you put the, the three tiers of upgrades across the board um, that should be enough to get you through so here let's jump in um, and then uh, base stat 64.3 PR uh, car belongs in the elite part of the career so once you win the car there's gonna be a bonus series that unlocks an elite uh, part of the your career so uh, let's get the upgrades going right away because these uh, limited time series if the past is any indicator of the present and the future we're not gonna go very far without any upgrades <laughs> uh, most likely the second tier there will be a cup race that requires PR higher than what we are starting on. So here's the engine. Um, high flow carbon fiber air box. More air to the engine. That's good. And drive train. Ooh, upgraded electronic differential. Uh, greater response times and more accurate torque distribution cool improving handling <laughs> sounds all fancy um, I have to admit I don't always read all these uh, descriptions of what the updates actual uh, upgrades actually do <laughs> uh, weight reduction um, right take out the passenger seat <laughs> Or something like that. Uh, Non-race specific car furnishings. Yeah, I think that's what it means. Um, uh, take out the cup holder. <laughs> and let's check out the suspension. Uh, race spec coil springs. Alright, so stiffer uh, suspensions typically. Uh, Allow for a more aggressive cornering. Uh, in other words, uh, bumpier ride <laughs> and making car less suitable for normal road. Uh, anyway, um, exhaust, race by catalytic converter, um, specialized higher flowing catalytic converter. With minimal back pressure. Cool. All right. So 
make sure you keep these cars secure in your garage so since there's been a, uh, many occasions recently like past couple of years where people would literally saw off exhaust uh, or not exhaust uh, the catalytic converter from just the cars parked on the street which is insane it's like how far are you people willing to go to ruin somebody else's day uh, anyway um, I mean obviously it is a expensive part of you know most cars but still come on stealing going that far out of your way yeah anyway uh, I'm going off on a tangent brakes custom race spec brake pads increase uh, response and stopping power yes and yes <laughs> and tires and wheels the one element that always makes the the gameplay a lot more enjoyable since it deals with the responsiveness uh, in the game uh, acceleration and grip um, race ready camber and toe adjustment uh, specialized diagnostics and camber adjustment uh, readjustment for ultimate handling and response so it's the ultimate so there shouldn't be any more. Wouldn't that the meaning of the word, right? But, uh, as we know, there's more upgrades. Yeah. Alright, so now the upgrades are on their way. Uh, here, let's check out the customization option. Uh, they give us no um, vinyls to customize this car with. It's kind of curious, isn't it? Uh, and then just one official livery yeah um hate that you know once we start running this car in the actual bonus series one of the elements that i really enjoy is when i get when i can see everybody else's uh artwork if you will um because you know some of my friends are very creative and very very talented with uh making some killer artwork on the cars and they're always very uh cool to see uh but when you know obviously there's no option uh, other than rim um yeah, we know what the rims look like Ugh. ride height no thank you um not certainly not for 11 gold all right so that's that uh let's get going speed snap at nurburgring mühlenbach life the short one 213.7 is the target speed to hit and uh it's gonna be all about that last corner uh that leads back into the main the starting line or finish line depending on how you want to look at it of this particular track variation so. So. The tricky uh, corner there this part right? 213 no, that's an overkill if I've seen one. Man, that was some serious burst up uh, speed there at the end. I guess it's going slightly downhill as well, but still. Uh, Alright, so hopefully that wasn't too much of an overkill. I try to go easy on it, <laughs> uh, but uh, it wasn't easy enough. So the major um, holdup with these series is usually going to be the upgrade uh, delivery time and uh, yeah 
Uh, at least we don't have to wait uh, each state for uh, like certain tier to open up. So, all right. So get moving. Uh, if you kind of divide up into I guess four or five tiers each day then uh, this should be pretty manageable series f uh, to actually win the car so good luck to you all and um, yeah see you in the next video